Sitting tall on your mats. Close down your eyes and say to yourself, I am. And know that you are not your identity. You're not your name, your job, your role as mother, daughter, father, son, or friend. Who are you? Drop the question between your muscles and bones and wait for the answer. Please draw your hands to heart center and take a moment to set your intention. May this practice touch the hearts and souls of beings everywhere. Welcome. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Big, tall stretch. Exhale and touch down to the earth. Inhale, shr shrug your shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, touching down. Inhale, shoulders up, back, and down. One more time. Inhale, this time we'll look up to the sky. Exhale, touch down and look to your heart. Inhale, shrug shoulders up, back, and down. Sitting nice and tall. Lengthening up through the side neck, feeling your head stacked over your heart and your heart stacked over your pelvis. Reaching up with an inhale, we'll take our right arm forward and our left arm back, reaching, reaching, and twisting. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, twist it out. Other side, inhale up. Really reach with those fingers. Use the muscles to reach, inhale up. Exhale, active. Inhale, one more time each side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, take your hands up towards the sky, interlace fingers and place at the back of the skull. Inhale, open the chest and heart and just stay here for a back bend, a heart opening, elbows get heavy, head is supported. Make space between your teeth and relax your jaw. Open up your arms and break free and touch down to the earth. Right hand is going to cross to the left knee. Left hand is going to cross over top to the opposite knee. And you're going to round the body and create traction and get passive here. Tuck your chin in. Feel that traction of the spine. Inhale. You're gonna open, remember which way your arms are crossed. Open up, turn your palms up towards the sky, carve your pinky fingers up towards the sky and look up. And exhale, you're gonna cross the opposite way, hands reaching towards the knees and rounding and tucking in more traction in that back body. Breathing clarity and space wherever you are. Inhale and open and carve those pinky fingers again up to the sky. Open your heart. Feel the rib cage expand. The throat can open. Eyes are relaxed. And just bring your hands naturally down to the earth. Roll your chin forward and right. Exhale back and left.
On your next inhale, please change direction. And sitting tall at center. We're going to kick our legs out. We can have our hands by our sides for a moment, pressing into the earth, whether our fingertips or our palms touch. We don't want to be round, so find that space. You're going to point your toes energetically, really pointing them away. And then flex your feet and spread your toes. Point and flex and notice what the back body is doing. Remain upright, pointing and flexing the feet. And then a nice strong flex here at center. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. So more length through the side waist and push out through your heels and see if you can almost lift your heels up off your mat. Reach, 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 reach up and out. We are a system of angles to sun and moon. And then relax your thighs, relax your hands. Bend your knees so your feet are flat. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale and round and tuck your nose in. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. To challenge yourself, you can round and pull back so your arms are straight, up to you. Inhale, listen to what your tailbone and your sit bones feel about that movement. Just rocking up and back. One more up and back. Sitting up tall, we're going to come into a baby boat position, so choose your boat. Smile. And bring the soles of your feet together and knees go wide. Imagine your back is pressed up against the wall so you're nice and straight as you shake out those knees. Press your feet together, squeeze your knees to the sky and release. We're gonna kick our right leg out to the right side. Draw that left heel in a little bit more. Turn your toe up towards the sky. Immediately you may feel a stretch through that right side. We're just gonna have the sensation of walking away from ourselves as we go over that folded knee and walk out. And be aware of not rotating your long leg. Keep the toe up as you draw away and surrender over that kneecap. Press into the earth to rise up. Coming back to center. Your left hand's gonna go back. You're gonna point your right toe and you're gonna lift yourself, sweep yourself up. Send your hips forward. Reach that top arm towards the back of your mat. And sinking back down, turn your navel towards your long leg, and just sit upright here as you twist your torso to your long leg. If you want to fold, you can. It's not necessary. Light up your toes. And release back to neutral. Draw the right heel in. Kick out that left leg. Toe to the sky, inner thigh, lit up. Turn over your folded knee and surrender. Gently drop in. Your eyes can be closed. Thoughts will tumble in. Don't get attached to those thoughts. Let them pass by. Notice if that toe is rotating in, try to send it up to the sky. Press in and rise up to center. Right hand's coming back, left toe will now point. Lift yourself up, open, reach back. Breathe into that side waist and release, turning your navel to look over your long leg. Stay here or fold in gently. And release to center. We'll bring our foot in and make our way to table position. Hands and knees. Let's 
spread your fingers, cat cows. Inhale, lengthen out through the throat. Exhale, round, pushing the mat away. Inhale. Exhale. In and out. Come into neutral position, hug the knees in. Lift your right leg up for sunbird, long and square, reaching out, possibly reaching out with the opposite hand. Square up your body, point that right hip down. Plant your hand down, three or a push-ups, chin to the mat, lift up, the toe stays lifted, chin to the mat, lift up, chin to the mat, lift up, and touch down with the kneecap. Oh, good job. Left leg sunbird, right arm. Release the hand, and three on this side. Breathe, only you can lift yourself up. And touching down to center. Toes are gonna tuck, hips are gonna lift. We're gonna come into down dog, first down dog. Unraveling the body, shake out the neck. Kick out those legs. Drop down to your knees. Keep the hips over top of the knees as we come into puppy pose, walking hands forward. Drop down to your elbows. If there's shoulder issues, you cross one hand over to the opposite elbow. Otherwise, you're dropping right down, chin towards the mat. Maybe roll to one cheek. Stretch your heart, press your heart down. Puppy press, heart press. Breathe in, breathe out. From your puppy position, slide your body long. So whether you're walking knees back or torso forward, your choice. We're gonna find our sphinx pose, elbows underneath the shoulders. Spread your fingers, press tops of feet, lift kneecaps. Inhale, press into the elbows so you really lengthen up and you feel your top ribs come off the mat. Exhale, sink back down. Let your shoulders shrug in. Inhale, press and lengthen. Top ribs can lift again. Exhale, ribs come down. We shrug in. One more. Inhale, come on up. Right here with those legs engaged. Look over your right shoulder. Center. Look over your left shoulder. And center. Relax down. We're going to extend our arms out straight in front of us. Forehead is going to remain on the mat. Mine will be lifted so I can make sure you can hear me talking. Lift your right foot up off the mat. Keep your forehead down and lift your left arm. And release. We're going to lift our left foot up. The knee can come with it. Reach it out and right arm. and release. Keep your forehead on the mat. Lift both toes, both legs up. And release. We're going to lift both hands up and we're going to lift the forehead up if that's available. Reaching out. You can soften into the elbows if you need to. Breathe. And release. All four limbs, forehead if it's available. Ready, rise up and breathe. Long and strong. And release, we're gonna press back right to child's pose. Breathe deep, when you lose your way, you come back home to your breath.
rising up down dog. Firing up more energy, inhale plank, exhale dog. Inhale plank, exhale dog. Inhale plank and exhale dog. For fun, we're gonna inhale plank and do a sunbird plank, right arm, left leg. Do your best, have fun with it. And release, sunbird plank, opposite side, right leg, left arm. I can hear you laughing and release. Drop your knees, sideline child, reach right and surrender. Collect your thoughts and let them go. And over to the other side. If we move, if we breathe, if we connect, we're not only grounding, we are cultivating change physically, mentally, spiritually. And back to center, rising up, down dog. We're gonna lift our right toe up towards the sky. Bring the right foot through to plant beside your right foot and we're dropping our left knee into a low lunge here. Drop your left knee down. I don't know what surface you're on today, but you can always fold up the side of your mat and give your knee a little bit more padding, especially if the ground is uneven. Planting into your low lunge position, fists or fingertips. We're just gonna draw the hips forward and we're gonna dangle our head so we're looking towards our left kneecap. Let that head go. And now pull the hips back, weight goes into the heel, we lift up the toes, we spread our toes and we draw our heart forward as we pull our right hip back. Plant your left hand, lift your right hand to the sky, a gentle twist. Let the shadows fall behind you. Release your hand down. Plant your foot down. We'll press back again to down dog. Recalibrating left leg up to the sky. Left foot through for low lunge, drop your right knee. Sink your hips down, dangle your head, look towards your right kneecap. So remember that breathing is exercise for the diaphragm, for the lungs, for the organs, sending energy throughout the body, the workout in itself, those long deep breaths. Pull your hips back, light up those toes. Pull the left hip back in square with your right hip. Plant your right hand down, lift your left hand up to the sky. And down. Knee comes forward, back toe tucks. We rise up, down dog. Let's walk our feet forward to our hands and let go passively over our legs. Rise up all the way to the sky, reach up, look up. Hands loving kindness to your heart. Toes tracking forward. Arms parallel, big inhale. Exhale, sink down into your imaginary chair. Weight into the heels, head over the pelvis. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release the energy. Inhale, parallel. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, lightning. Exhale, release. Notice what the knees are doing. Keep them tracking forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, we're going in for a hold. Exhale down. Choose where your arms want to be for this long hold. The only trembling is the body. It's not the breath. Breathe. Inwardly rotate those thighs. Press the weight into the heels. Lift the corners of your mouth. Look up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side out. Release those arms down. We're going to flow from the top of our mat. I'm going to face east to salute the sun. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. And lower. Lift your heart. Really expand the heart through your shoulders. Exhale, down dog. Think about how you usually get to the top of your mat. Try to do it a little bit differently, whether it's usually one-sided. Try maybe hopping top of the mats, letting go, rising up, reaching up. Loving kindness, hands to your heart. Meditation in motion. Inhale, look up. Exhale, empty. Halfway lift. Land lightly, down dog. Plank, power up, your choice. Slow, controlled, lower. Heart expands through your shoulders. Down, diggity dog. Deep breaths here. Some of the most relaxing breaths you've taken yet today. Find your way to the top of the mat. Land lightly. Let go completely. Inhale, rise up fully. And loving kindness to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Down dog. Power your plank. Lower neatly and tightly. Heart expands. Child's pose. Yoga is a dance between control and surrender. Between pushing and letting go. Rising up, down dog. Always lifting ourselves up. So play with your down dog a little bit. Maybe you want to undulate the spine. Maybe you want to have a differential in the weight. One hand, both hands. Maybe it's the feet. Maybe you tilt your pelvis a little bit more or soften your knees to have more extension through the spine. Just discover how subtle movements can change the pose, how maybe you can find that aha moment in a pose that you've done before, but we're always changing and evolving. So we're gonna come into a warrior series. So inhale that right toe up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it through planted, rising up warrior one, woohoo! Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful. In our warrior two today, we're going to take our back hand and reach it forward to our front hand. 
and using tension across the chest using our muscles we're going to pull back on an imaginary bow so you're creating your own tension across the chest we're going to aim true at something in our life that does not serve us maybe it's a habit a relationship something COVID, aim at COVID, whatever is driving you nuts, take aim and fire, release your bow. Good shot, bullseye. Inhale, lift it up for peaceful warrior. Exhale back to warrior two. We're gonna do that again. Bring the arm forward, draw back tension and fire. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two, one more time. And forward, draw back, tension across the chest. Aim, fire, peaceful, and side angle. Your choice of side angle, arm versions that serve you. Steady in the feet. Good. Look down towards the earth. Bring your hands down, framing your front foot. Step back, down dog. Option to flow here. Left toes coming up to the sky. Bring it through, rise up warriors. Let me hear that warrior shrill. Woo! Exhale, warrior two. Feel your foundation. Gazing over that front hand. Back hand comes to meet the front. Peel your bow, your arrow back. Feel your arrow, take aim, fire. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. Drawing forward, inhale. Exhale, pull your bow back, fire. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arm draws forward. Exhale, pull back, tension across chest. Peaceful. Warrior two. Come into a side angle. Looking down towards the dock, hands frame the front foot and step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. We're gonna hold plank. Sorry if I didn't say that fast enough, we're holding plank. We're gonna attempt a side plank today. So right hand to center mat, rotating. We can take a kickstand in front with our top leg. We can have two feet feet on the dock, mat, wherever you are, or stack your feet, lift your hip up, release the struggle by breathing and smiling, and release. We're going to try that on the other side. Firm foundation at center, doesn't have to be the same. Hip up, hip up, hip up. And plank everybody, long and strong. Lower all the way down for dock pose. Good job. Look for space. In that space, bring the breath. So we're gonna do a sideline bow today. So roll to your right side, knees will be bent. You can stack up your head with your hands, elbow on the earth. Doesn't matter which side you go to, you're just gonna take that top hand and reach back for your top ankle. You're gonna draw the knee back, open the shoulder, press the hip forward, drive the hip forward. Feel that quad open up. Find the flesh above this top kneecap and if you choose, 
take your heel of your bottom foot and place it right there and push back more. Mermaid, merman. And release, whether you roll onto your tummy or your back, your choice, or flip over, find the other side. Knees bent, head stacked. It's a workout in itself today. All right, top hand reaching for that top ankle, draw back, drive hips forward, drive shoulder back, and flesh above the knee, find it with your bottom heel. And release, please release onto your tummy. Hands underneath the shoulders, reverse push up to plank, to down dog. Take a flow here, moving with the breath, meditation in motion. Inhale, plank, drive the shoulders forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Hello, Nasturtium. Exhale, down dog. Land lightly at the top of your mat in a forward fold. And in this forward fold version, we're gonna interlace our hands behind our back body, squeeze our shoulder blades together and lift our hands up to the sky. Tuck that nose in towards your kneecaps. Release your hands, sweep them forward, rise all the way up to the sky. Onto the balls of the feet, the tiptoes. Release your heels down, side bend, drop that right arm and side bend over. Look up if you can. Inhale, take it up to the sky. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, up to center and exhale, hands to your heart. So we're gonna be moving into balancing poses, so please find a spot where you're comfortable. We're gonna be doing some knee lifting, some knee twisting, and some knee lifts to warrior three, warrior three or airplane version. So whatever foot you'd like to drive into your mat first, just choose that foot. Hips can be square, hands can come to the hips. And you want to keep your hips square as you lift the knee. So just inhale up and exhale, touch down. Just a little bit in front of your standing foot. Inhale up. Notice how you can shift the hip, but try not to. Keep it pointed down. Inhaling up. That's your balance. Exhale. If you want to challenge yourself, your arms could come up. Inhaling up. Not necessary, just an option. And down. For four. Touch down, feel the standing foot really working, especially if you're on uneven ground. And five, touch down, good job. So from here, we're gonna inhale up, and whether your hands are on your hips or up, and you're just gonna exhale, swing into a warrior or an airplane, inhale, come back up. The foot can touch down at any time if necessary. Exhale, you drive the foot back. Inhale, come up. Have fun with it. Exhale, kick back. That's three. We're aiming for five of these. That standing leg might be burning. It's working hard. When you've completed five, just come back to that balance. Try to realign yourself with the knee up to the sky. Woo, standing leg on fire. We're just going to twist. So the opposite arm of whatever knee. Turn towards that knee. Up to center and touch down. Ooh, fire, fire, fire. Okay, kids, you know what's coming on the other side. 
Notice whether your breath wandered, if your focus, your drishti wandered, your eyes, and try to establish that in the beginning and maintain it, focus. So five taps, whether your hands are on your hips or up to the sky, you choose. Inhale, knee up, keep the hips square. Exhale, just touch down. Inhale. Three. Four, you can feel the quad working. Keeps getting some mobility. So here, we're gonna go into those warriors. So knee up. Exhale, go into a warrior three, or an airplane. Inhale, slide through. You need strength, not just the momentum. Exhale, square your hips, elongate. Inhale, you need the breath, don't hold your breath. For three, lift up. For four, lean into what is. Lean into what is difficult. And five. Lift that knee up, arms up, and we twist so the arm that is opposite the knee comes forward, and we look in the direction of that side of the knee. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, touch down. Nice job, warriors. Step wide, find a wide space you can occupy on the earth. Toes turn out, shoulders stacked over hips. When we squat, we wanna make sure we can still see our toes and that we're not inwardly rotating or collapsing our arches. So we're driving our knees outward. Inhale, straighten the legs, come up. Exhale, sweep down. Inhale, straighten and come up. Exhale, see if you can contract or really feel like you're reaching your arms and firming up your quads, like you're stretching fiercely. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna come down for a pause. So we're gonna maintain the position of our legs. Arms are gonna come up. We're just gonna lift one heel, one heel only. You pick the heel. And you're gonna twist towards whichever heel you lifted. Just twist towards it. Come back to center, release the heel. Sink back down in case you elevated yourself up. Pull your opposite heel to the sky. Heel up, heel up, heel up. Twist towards that heel. Come back to center. Lower the heel down. Sink back down a little bit more if you can. See if you can lift both heels. The only trembling may be the body, not the breath. Heels down. Release the energy. Parallel your feet, maybe your feet go wider. Draw your navel in as you drive the hips back and come into a forward fold. Maybe wiggle side to side, maybe bend your knees, maybe slide side to side. Just discover that forward fold for you. Press into the earth with your hands so there's a slight lift. And maybe you walk the feet in a touch. Bring your hands to your hips, engage your core, press with your legs and lift yourself up. Heel in, toe in, heel in, toe in. And we'll find a seat on our mats. So we're gonna just fire ourselves into our core. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You don't have to go as low as you think to be working your core. We're gonna be doing boats to canoes. Find some even ground on your tailbone. So starting with our boat, and your canoe doesn't have to be a long, sleek canoe. <laughs> it can be up here. I just wanna see that extension. So we're gonna aim for five 
and we're going to see how we're doing. We'll take a little pause and then we'll aim for five more. And this is our core workout today. So here we go. Canoe, or sorry, boat, exhale, canoe. Boat, canoe. Boat, three, four, and five. Sit up for me. Take a moment, take a pause. Know how that feels in the body, how you are changing and you are getting stronger. We accept the challenge because we wanna get stronger. All right, so five more kids, if it's available. Boat, can you? Nice job, turtle. Slide your hands under. Now you get to be round in the body, passive in the body. Rise up, extend your legs long, find the end of your mat with your heels and lower your body all the way down onto your mat. Lying on your mat, you can give yourself a big stretch when you get there, point your toes, stretch your arm, and hug your knees in towards your chest. Honoring all that hard work you've already done. We're gonna plant our feet down, so knees will be bent. And this is gonna work our hamstrings, one of my strong legs, so two-legged table, lift your hips up. And in this two-legged table, for those of you that were with me on Wednesday, this is our challenge. You walk your right foot a little bit away from you, followed by your left foot. Again, right foot, followed by your left foot. Maybe two steps is all you've got. If you've got another one, take three, and then walk it back to your elevated bridge. You're gonna feel that in the hamstrings and the glutes. Let's go, palms down, press. Walk out as far as you can. Walk the feet back, elevate the hips in case you sank down. Walk out, Woo. walk back. Two more times. And back, two-legged table, you did it. Hips up to the sky, breathe. Lower your hips down. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a big squeeze in towards the chest, knee towards the armpit. And release. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. Big squeeze in towards the armpit. And release. Both legs are going up towards the sky. Both arms are reaching up towards the sky. We're gonna pulse, lifting head, neck, and shoulders up. You can support your head with one arm if needed. Pulse for 10 here, reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ted, hug and squeeze. And heels back flat to the earth. Cross your right foot over your left thigh. That right side of the foot lines up with the long bone of your leg, your femur. Reach up, grab the back of the left leg. Relax, head, neck, and shoulders down. Notice if you're still squeezing some part of the body. Try not to, especially the jaw. We're gonna keep the shape of our legs. Take our arms out nice and wide, keeping the shape of our legs with our right foot on top. We're going left for a twist. Trying to plant the right foot on the, on the mat, sorry. Look over your right hand. You can use your left hand to Push that knee up a little bit if you like. 
discerning how that feels for you on your insertion of your femur into your hip. Maybe it wants to collapse in, that's okay. Your back will tell you, your hip will tell you. Shift back to center and drop the right foot back down to meet the left. Left foot crossing over right. Reach up, grab the back of the right leg, head, neck, and shoulders, surrender down. Soften your jaw and your eyes and your shoulders integrate into the mat. Arms are gonna go out wide. We're twisting that foundation of legs over to the right side, trying to plant the left foot flat and looking left. Neck to center, chin to center, legs to center. Plant your feet back down. Take both legs up to the sky for candle pose. Both feet up to the sky. For those of you who willingly practice shoulder stand, feel free. Make sure you're safe, that your neck is safe. Your hands support, your elbows are pressed in if you're going into shoulder stand, candle or shoulder stand. We just want that energy. It's flowing, reversing. We're lighting a candle. If you're in shoulder stand, knees to ears, hands to the mat, core strength rolling out to your tailbone all come into happy baby with some laughter because laughter is an instant vacation. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bring the soles of your feet down to your mat. Keep your knees wide. Place both hands over your heart and rejoice for this time you have taken. Say to yourself, I am. And see if more answers drop between your muscles and your bones. And you're gonna extend your legs out and hands to your side for Shavasana. Settle in. Our minds can be in two, five, 10, 20 places at once, but our bodies are only ever in one. Come back to your body. Your practice has come to a close. All your body wants in this moment is to find or create safety in the moment to feel spacious, expansive, and free. On your own command, completely and deeply relax.
keeping your eyes closed down. The peace you cultivated within. Coming back. To you. the life into your toes, your extremities, your fingers, and your cheeks around your nose. Shift hips from side to side to awaken that spine and your neck gently side to side. Stretch your new body, reach, twist, bend, awaken, feel amazing. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll to your right side and pause. Pausing to assimilate everything that you've gathered and learned. And gently push yourself up to seated. meditation. If you have a favorite mudra, please take it. Otherwise, hands are open and receptive to light. As yogis, we absorb the light so that we can look to it in the darker days of winter, the darker days on the earth. Close down your eyes. But we also know that we are stars trapped in skin. And the light you are seeking has always been within. Look to the light. Be the light so you can spread the light. Please draw your hands to heart center to seal your practice. We close down our class with the vibration and the sound of OM to clear the space, to clear the air and clear a path for our day. The sound of the universe. Take a big breath in, let it go. And inhale the sound of the universe. Oh. Take a moment to bow to your own dear heart, knowing that whatever comes your way today, we will be grounded, resilient, and focused. Namaste.